Man, oh man, I'm sitting here with Anish uh, Velodia from uh, Beats of Hollywood Dance Production. Bollywood. Uh, Dance of Bollywood, sorry. Uh, it's going to be an absolutely amazing um, kind of theater piece at the St. Oosterfeest that forms part of the lineup, which kicks off on the 25th. But the St. Oosterfeest or Beats of Bollywood will be showcasing on the 27th of April. Uh, it's going to be at the Artscape Opera House. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Anish, so good to be having you and your team here this morning. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Um, I think first and foremost, it is such a big production. We were Talk, just talking about it now, <laughs> I wish there was more than one run at the St. Oosterfeers because it sounds amazing, it sounds enticing, it sounds colourful as well. What can viewers expect? So, Beats of Bollywood is a production that uh, focuses on the various Indian dance styles that are prevalent in Bollywood today, um, as well as a complete mix that reflects the cultural diversity of South Africa. Yeah. So, we are bringing in various dance styles from across the globe. Uh, from esteemed choreographers and their dance academies from Cape Town and we are collaborating um, on the Bollywood stage. And I love that man because besides uh, traditional Indian dance that you can see you can, we can experience different cultures through this why did you decide to incorporate other different dance styles? I mean you've got like Irish, contemporary, um, different dance styles in this production which is uh, mainly geared towards you know this whole Bollywood theme. Yes so um, our, our, our vision at Tare is to bring diverse people together through dance and also through inspiration of St. Worst of Years, which has become a festival for all, um, we try to uh, curate a production that um, would be accessible to, yeah. to anyone that has a love for dance and for theatre. Absolutely, and I think that is exactly what you'd be able to take away once you go see Beats of Bollywood. Um, we were just talking now, I mean, this is, it is such a massive production to put together. So yes. much work goes into it. Yes. What, what goes on behind the scenes to, to bring a production like this to life? Well, preparations have begun last year already. Um, as soon sure. as said, Oestafias uh, made a pitch to us. Um, we began our preparations. Um, rehearsals have been quite lengthy um, <laughs> because we're working with numerous dancers. Um, scheduling has been one of the challenges I can imagine. Uh, to have everyone in the same place at the same time. Uh, but it's been equally rewarding getting to learn from different choreographers, getting to work in the same space and collaborate yeah. um, through a medium that we love, uh, which is Bollywood. Yeah. Well, you guys have obviously kind of formulated a, a kind of a, almost like a secret in terms of how you go about putting these productions together because sold out production for things like Dance Through Bollywood, Rhythm India, Rivers of Motion did so, so well. And I'm sure yes. this is going to be the case for Beats of uh, Bollywood as well. So thank you very much for joining us. Where can people get tickets very quickly? They can get it at Compu Ticket. Um, the 120 Rand zone is sold out already. Wow, okay. Uh, so there are tickets available at 100 Rand and 80 Rand through Compu Ticket. At Compu Ticket. Thank Thank you very much, Anise, for joining us this morning. We're going to get a bit of a taste as to what you can expect. Remember, that's Beats of Bollywood. It's the 27th of April that's going to be showing at the St. Oosterfeers Artscape Opera House. Stick around. Oh, all the best of luck with the competition and to that cast and crew, an incredible creation. Let's continue on those creative vibes this morning, maybe just to pique your interest. If you were able to see one of the sold-out productions of Dance Through Bollywood, Rhythm India, Rivers of Emotion, Live Love Bollywood, or maybe Bollywood Enchanted, this is going to be just for you. Tare is back with another brilliant production that is selling out fast, so you want to get those tickets. Here yeah, they are going to give us just a taste of Beats of Bollywood with a performance called Jogal Bandi.
Feel good breakfast show. It's espresso, and we're about to have a lot of fun. Beats of Bollywood, they are in the studio with us, and of course, you can catch them the 27th of April at the St. Worcester Fierce. It's taking place at the Artscape Opera House. Tickets are available at Compute Ticket, but here they are in the studio to give us a taste of a track called Nambuda.
course, we can't end off the morning without an, uh, another performance. Beats of Bollywood, they've been with us on your Feel Good Breakfast yeah. show the entire morning. You can catch them at the St. Worcester Fierce, which is taking place the 27th of April. It is at the Artscape Opera House. Tickets are available. You can buy them at CompuTicket. They range from 80 bucks to 120. I do believe the 120 seats are rand seats are already sold up, yeah. but you can still get tickets for 80 rand and 100 rand. And that's all taking place at the Artscape Opera House the 27th mm -hmm. of April. Mm -hmm. But they're still on your Feel Good Breakfast show, and here they are with one last performance. Oh, hello! Thank you very much, ladies. That was lovely, bringing a bit of a sparkle to our Monday morning as well, hey? Such happy music. Hello. I was just Manage saying, me. this that is like the amazing. best way to kick off the Monday morning. Ladies, well done. And I also have to say to May and Jay Lashney, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, Kandasami's <laughs> The Wedding. It is releasing in theatres this coming Thursday, the 18th of April. Be sure to go and check it out. Yeah, listen, let's, let's get a little bit closer here. I know let's that you guys, in. you know, you've got a little bit of a... Yeah. No, 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 Wally, come a little bit closer. We, we all want to fit onto the screen. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. So just those details again, this is the 27th of April at the St. Worcester Fiat. It's going to be at the Artscape Opera House. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Make sure you get your tickets. It's so much more than just your traditional Indian dancing. There's so many other flavors infused there is as well. So you are going to be, it's, it's really like a feast for the eyes to see, hey? It's going to be lovely. A feast for the Thank eyes you and very, ears. very much for joining us. Thank you very much to all of our guests as well. Jenny Morris, who was here, the Spice Prince of India. He was here as well. 
Reza Muhammad giving us a lesson on all things spices. We put them to the test as well. I mean, there's no feeling fooling them when it comes to spices. Absolutely. That's right. And of course, the cool thing is we get to do it all again tomorrow. And coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show, I know we're only in the month of April, but it's time to perhaps plan your July holiday. And we're going to do that on our Travel Tuesday. That sounds delicious as well. And <laughs> talk about that. And then also, um, it's a Tuesday, which means it's all things health discussions and why you should clean out your medicine cabinets. Mm -hmm. You know, why that mm -hmm. is important because I think sometimes we leave it for a little bit too long and then when there is an emergency, then you know what, then you are... And your medicine's expired, corner. at least that's, that's in my thing. cabinet. That's yeah. the thing. So we're going to be talking about those uh, those very important kind of do's and don'ts. And then also, tomorrow's World Hemophilia Day as well. Um, what does that mean? Well, we're going to be unpacking it with the experts as well in terms of what it is, what the condition is all about, and also how you go about treating it. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to have spend some time in the kitchen whipping up a chocolate and raspberry crepe stack. So, of mm. course, you do not mm. want to miss out on that. And I feel like because we're going to be eating so many <laughs> delicious treats tomorrow this morning we just need to maybe dance a little bit more <laughs> how about we pre-work off those calories before we ingest them so ladies if we play some music we're we gonna have some fun and dance a little yeah, sure. yes okay I'll, I'll so let's get some music up and <laughs> enjoy the monday morning enjoy your monday guys thank you very very much i'll follow your lead you can show me <laughs> Oh, my God.